Good morning. I have Tucker Turtle here with me this morning. I know we've read this story a few times, but we get to read it again. It's one of my favorites. So Tucker Turtle takes time to tuck and think. Tucker the turtle likes to play with his friends at Norris Lake School. Sometimes things happen to make Tucker really mad or angry. It used to be that when Tucker was mad, he would hit, kick, or yell at his friends. His friends would get sad or scared. Look at that alligator. He is so scared. Oh, and the duck, he's crying. Oh, boy. Tucker now knows a way to be a kinder turtle when he gets mad. Step one, recognize your feelings. Tucker recognizes that he is mad. Step two, stop your body. He can stop yelling and keep his hands and body to himself. Step three, tuck inside your shell and take three deep breaths. He can tuck inside his shell and take three breaths to calm his self. Step four, come out when you are calm and think of a solution. <clears throat> Tucker, can, Tucker can then think of a solution to solve his problem. What is a solution that he could that he could use in this situation? His alligator friend knocked down his tower and that made him mad. What solution could he use? <clears throat> he could say, please stop knocking down my tower. I don't like it. You got it. When Tucker thinks like a turtle, his body is calm and feels better. When he uses friendly touches and kind words with his classmates and friends, they feel happy and safe. I'm going to get Tucker out. <clears throat> We're going to practice tucking in our shell and breathing. So step one, oh, Tucker realizes that he is mad. His friend knocked down his tower. He is mad. But he stops his body. He tucks into his shell. Tuck down, tuck down. Breathe three deep breaths. One, two, three. <sighs> Tucker's body is calm now. He's going to come out. He's going to use that stop hand. Stop. I don't like it when you knock down my tower. Please stop. You got it. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you later. Bye.